Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Luis Feliz. And if you have ever created a piece of content and you want to have subtitles in a different language, then you are in the right video. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that by leveraging the power of Premiere Pro and ChatGPT. Let's go right into it. All right, so here we are in Premiere Pro. And first thing, we're going to make some assumptions. One is that you do have Premiere Pro. And if you do, if you do not have Premiere Pro, I'm going to put a link down below so that way you can check it out, download it. It's the one of the most top rated video editing software in the world. So check it out. You can get it for 10 bucks now. I think that sale expires in April 23rd. And also that you have ChatGPT. And if you don't know what ChatGPT is, just Google it. You will have a lot. You're going to find a lot of information on what it is and how to use it. And now the other assumption is that you already know how to create captions in Premiere Pro. So the main panels that you're going to be working from is the text panel, which if you cannot see the text panel, you can go to window, right? And then go look for text, you see, and you check it and you will, and it will show up in your workspace. And here it is now very important. Okay. For this to, to work, you've already have created your captions. They've already been generated. That's what I'm saying. The first assumption in order to keep this video short is that you already know how to create captions. Now, when you go into the, into the text uh, window, you're going to have three different tabs, right? You're going to have transcripts, you're going to have captions, and you're going to have graphics. It is very important that you are in the captions tab, okay? Because we're going to export the entire captions that you have created, okay? Because if you are in transcripts, with this happened to me, I was in transcript. Because when you go to transcript, what you have to do, we have to export it to, a, to an SRT file. Here, you don't have the option. And I was just going crazy. I was like, where is the SRT? I know there is an option for SR exporting to SRT. Well, anyways, you're not going to find it here. You're going to find it in captions, okay? Once you go to captions, uh, you go to export to SRT. Not text, not CSV, but SRT. Go ahead and click export to SRT file. Bam, you click it. And then a window is going to come up. By the way, I'm on a Mac. I'm going to assume that this works the same way on a PC. I can't vouch for that, so don't quote for me. Don't quote me on that. So... Ideally, you want to save the SRT file on the same folder where you have your project. So I'm going to go ahead and name it, you know, new leaders, right? because that's a, a video I already created. So I'm going to click save. Bam. You're done there. For now, we're done with Premiere Pro. All right. So now let's go ahead and jump into finding the file and then into ChatGPT. Okay. So now that you have exported the SRT file and you placed it in the same folder where your project is saved in, then you're gonna go navigate to it. You see right here, it is New Leaders SRT, and it looks, you know, it looks like this. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on it, right click, and open with. Go to Other because you're gonna to have to use a text editor in order to edit this file. Which that's the part that the guy, you know, showed me. I did not know you could do this with an SRT file. So you're gonna look for the text edit tool, right? All right. So here you go. You open it, and voila. Now, hear how cool, see how cool this is. Now, here you have the entire text with the timestamps. And this is going to be where, you know, ChatGPT works its magic. But you also have the text. And this is, this is going to blow your mind on how effective ChatGPT is. So what you're going to do is, let me minimize the window right here. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to copy this, right, text. And by the way, when I did this the first time, uh, for some reason, ChatGPT, if I gave it a very long transcript, right? For some reason, it will stop generating an answer after like 15. It might have been a glitch. I don't know. But I from now from now on, I don't do a lot of, of these uh, texts. I just pick a few. I pick all the way to 15. You see the numbers? So you're going to pick up to 15. You can try more if you want to, but I'm telling you that to me, 15 worked. So you're going to copy all of it and then you're going to hold it, right? You keep it copied. And then here's where you got to be very, very uh, specific with ChatGPT. This is the command you have to give it. Okay. I'm going to tell it, can you translate this transcript while keeping the timestamp? This is important. The timestamp, the timestamp intact translate oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i got translate to spanish can you translate this trans transcript from english to spanish 
from English to Spanish while keeping the timestamp intact. Then it's going to ask you for the transcript. All right, there you go. So now you go ahead and obviously you can probably give it the, the transcript at the same time. I think I did it the same that, that way last time, but here we go. Let's give it a, let's give it a transcript. Here it is. I paste the transcript and now bam, look at it. Work the magic. It's incredible. By the way, I'm going to fast forward this for the video. Okay. Awesome. All right. So now let's go ahead and you're going to copy this, all the content, make sure all of it is selected. You copy. Now the reason, now you see, I kept it selected so that way I can just replace it because you don't want to mess with the order of this on this file. You don't want to mess with it. You want to make sure that everything is swapped. So now I'll go, go command V to paste, bam. And you see how we left this gap. You got to make sure that you close those gaps back in there. Okay. Right there. And it's perfectly aligned. Everything's the same. So now let's do the, the last portion. And it's going to continue to do the translation. And by the way, chat GPT is so accurate with the translation. Like I said, I speak English and Spanish. And when I read this, it is right on point. It does a better job that I would ever do if I did this manually. And, and I'm doing this real time so we can see how quick it is. Copy. And I go here. And since I have it selected, then I'm going to paste it. Okay, so I ended at 30. Again, get rid of the gaps. And go from 31 to 40. Give it one more. And again, there, there were a couple times that I, that chat GPT did glitch on me. You see, like, look, you see what it did? It glitched. I'm glad it did this. You see, it went ahead and started from the top. I did not ask it to do that. I'm glad it happened here during the tutorial. So how we can go ahead and go stop generating, right? Hit stop generating and then go ahead and ask the same question again. Can you translate this transcript from English? to Spanish while keeping the timestamp intact. By the way, one time what it did, it just, it translated what I said right here into, into English, into Spanish. So be aware that it may happen and you may have to start a new, a new chat. Let's see what it does. See, it, it translated. Okay. Let me see. Let me give it to it to see if it does it. Okay. So he did it. So again, I'm glad that it happened here during the tutorial because that's what it did to me last time. And I had to start a new chat, give it new instructions, and then it will spit out the right answer. But again, even with that little hiccup, it's, it's still light years faster than anything I could ever do. And with the other tutorial, you know, that I found on the internet on YouTube, the, the guy was recommending a piece of software or some website and the translations were terrible like terrible. It was not even close to, to Spanish. It was Spanish, but it was all, it was all butchered up. All right. Bam. All right. All right. So it's good. Now let me get rid of these paces. Bam right there. And now here's the thing. Now we're going to save this, right? You're going to save it. All right. Make sure it's saved. You close it. All right. So now we're going to go back into premiere pro. Okay. So now we are back into premiere pro. And here's a very important step that you make sure that you do. Again, if there's a work around this part right here, then let me know, but I could not figure it out without doing this. Okay. The next step. And it is that you have to delete the track that has the current captions you created. Okay. Because you have to import the SRT file has to be imported into premiere pro. And for some reason I could not find a window or an option that allows me to import that SRT file into premiere pro into the project. So, the workaround is to delete again, the track that contains the captions. And let me show you what that looks like. So here it is. This is again, I have two monitors. That's why, that's why, that's why it may look different to you, right? As I am showing you different windows, I have two monitors in this monitor that that's where I have, I keep my timeline. So you have to come here and delete, right? Right click and delete track. 
So after you delete the track, then you will see, see the option again of captions to create captions. If you don't delete the track again, I could not find a work around this. I was trying to find, okay, how do I go to that window where I'm able to import, you know, captions and you have to delete the track. Again, if you find a different way, please share in the comments down below. So you go here, you're going to select import captions from file. And then guess what? Guess what you're going to do? You're going to go ahead and grab the SRT file that you just edited with ChatGPT. And this is the magic right here. Boom. And then this window is going to come up and then you're going to go ahead and select again. I have styles I have created disregard this unless you know how to style text, but if not, uh, you know, just follow along, right? Click. Okay. Bam. Here it is. That's translated already with the time step intact. Everything is at the perfect time. It's incredible. And this is how you do it. So, but I'm going to show you something else uh, in case you want to have like both text, right? The, the two languages, one on top of each other. I'm going to command Z, right? Let me command Z and, and undo all this. All right. So you see, I still have, I still have the English text there. And let's say that I want to keep both of them. So what you can do is before you delete the track, you select all of them, right? And then you go to graphics title and then upgrade captions to graphic. What this does, it makes the caption into a graphics, into a, into a graphic type of a layer, right? So boom. And it's going to lower. You see where you put it down? Yeah. So now you can go ahead and delete this, delete the track. And now see, and now you have the option to import the file again. So let's go ahead and import that. Let's do it again. SRT. Give it a style that I want because I have a style saved. Make sure you leave it on source time code. Okay. Don't mess with this. Click. Okay. And now here's how you, how, this is how you can verify that it is identical, identical. You see now you can check to see again, different languages. It may be different, but this is, this is it, bro. This is it. So if you find this valuable, please, you know, give it a thumbs up, share with another friend or whomever, and leave me a comment down below if there's anything that I missed or something that you may have a question about. And I'm hoping that with this, now you're able to translate into whatever language you want to use. All right. God bless you and see you in the next video. Bye.